What's up guys? Welcome to another Pokemon Go video and this time it's going to be Rayquaza Raid Boss Guide. Now I do battle and catch my first ever Rayquaza towards the end of the video so if you want to see that stick around. But let's go over some of the best raid counters for Rayquaza. First some information. At level 20 a 100% Rayquaza is 2083 CP. And then with a weather boost, you're looking at the magical number 2604 for windy weather. Okay, here we go. Rayquaza is four times actually weak to ice if you're talking about main series game, but then it's double weakness to rock, fairy, and dragon. Now, here are the raid counters, not really uh, in any particular order for the most part, but here we go. Articuna, obviously a beast, four times super effective against Rayquaza. With ice moves, you want Frost Breath and Ice Beam. Um, do not use Articuno if Rayquaza has Ancient Power. You got Dragon Knight overall, a good counter, even if it has Outrage, honestly. Um, because if you dodge those attacks, they won't hurt as much. Dragon Knight is just pretty much a really good filler, so to speak. It's a very good filling role to still do damage. Um, Rayquaza, of course. I mean, it makes sense. Dragon against Dragon. Um, actually... Jinx is very good. Rayquaza has been duoed. Yes, duoed with a full team of Max Jinx. And then Max revive them once they pass out and go back in. So Jinx is probably one of the best ice attackers, even better than Articuno. Next up we have Lapras. Lapras, obviously very tanky Pokemon, dealing a good amount of damage with ice moves. Walrin is actually just as good as Lapras, only not as tanky, but it will deal more damage because of that. You can't Forget Pillow Swine, Pilo Swine, excuse me. Um, Ice Shard, Avalanche, very good move set. Uh, Cloister can't be left out of the situation, especially against, as it says, uh, against Ancient Power, really good. Kyogre with Blizzard goes well no matter what, it can deal a lot of DPS. Golem should not surprise you with Rock Throw and Stone Edge, same with Tyranitar with Bite and Stone Edge. Uh, Gardevoir with Confusion and Dazzling Gleam. All these Pokemon are great. Now, I, there's some notable mentions that aren't on this list. Gyarados with Dragon Tail and Outrage will absolutely destroy Rayquaza if it doesn't have Ancient Power. And also, Milotic with Dragon Tail and Blizzard will actually deal a ton of damage too. So, if you have any of those two Pokemon with those movesets, I highly recommend you use them as well as both of those Pokemon deal a massive amount of damage with their stats. So those are a couple notable mentions as well, but use these in any combination you like depending on what moveset Rayquaza has and let's go ahead and look at those real quick just in case you don't know. Dragon Tail, Air Slash, Outrage, Aerial Ace, and Ancient Power. So use Pokemon accordingly, pay attention to what the game auto picks you when you go into the lobby and then you'll be able to choose the correct Pokemon. Ideally, you want to go up against a Rayquaza that has Air Slash and Aerial Ace, as Aerial Ace doesn't deal as much damage, but it does use it a lot, so dodging is recommended. Outrage is the worst because it deals a ton of damage, and Ancient Power isn't too good either because it does super effective damage towards a lot of the Pokemon listed above. Alright guys, so that's the Rayquaza guide. Hope this helps you guys out. Um, you only need about four players, level 30 or higher, with level 30 or higher Pokemon as well. Any of these Pokemon that are listed above, or the two I mentioned, Gyarados and Melodic. And you should have a pretty good chance of taking out Rayquaza with just four people, to be honest with you. But, now, on to my raid. I'm signing off, guys. I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Go video. Alright, here we go. Rayquaza number two. Hopefully we catch this one. In. Yeah, it looks like he did jump in. Um... Yeah, it looks like it probably does have ancient power, just judging by what the game gave me. Rock types. Yep, rock types, so. Or it could have Aer Aerial Ace, though, as well. It's possible. No, we got a full 20. We got a full squad. Woo, full 20, let's go. Alright. It's cold out here, I'll see you guys in the battle. Second one I did on the first one. Yeah. So. Here we go. Alright, back to my car. Woo, woo, good luck! Okay. <sighs> Time to smash this bad boy. 20 people. Let's go back in the car. <laughs> it is cold. Hopefully we can get the damage balls we need. Definitely need to deal a ton of damage. So many people in here fighting for that extra damage ball or two. Absolutely. Cloister is down. Going into the golem. Let's do this. Can we beat 
Rayquaza in under 200 seconds. Can this be one of the fastest times Rayquaza's ever gone down? Come on. Come on, fam. I believe in you. We are smashing this Rayquaza. Hopefully we catch it this time, too. I do have a guide for catching Rayquaza. The link will be in the description if you want to check it out. We're definitely going to be using that guide to catch my first Rayquaza. Because I haven't caught one yet. I missed my first one because I was learning the techniques. And then I was able to put out that how to catch Rayquaza easier guide. So, absolutely. We'll be using... Wow. Wow, we destroyed that. Wow. Unreal. 2065, so that's decent. That's decent. Not terrible, but not great either. Six rare candies, we need those. All right. 10k XP. We got one damage ball. I'll take it. And another one. We get eight balls. Let's go. All right. So here we go. Rayquaza. Is he at the top or the bottom? It looks like he's at the bottom, right? Let's go ahead and hold. There we go. Ah, there we go. He was at the top. So we're going to wait. Oh, he's back to the top. So we're going to wait. Come back down and attack. Come on, Rayquaza. You know you want to. Oh, wow. Maybe not. It's very docile. Doesn't attack very often. Rayquaquay. Now attack. Attack. Yes. There we go. Hit the ceiling, came down right on the excellent. One. Oh, I thought we had it, fam. First ball. That'd have been nuts. But, uh, let's see, right? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Right there. Might be a little bit smaller to my liking, but it'll work anyway. Wait for Rayquaza to attack. Come on, attack right here. And the suspense is killing me. Rayquaza, my second favorite Pokemon. Oh, Like, do I throw a ball? Oh, there we go. And there it is. Yeah, the catch the catch guide works, I'm telling you. One. Oh. Oh, he attacked again. Spence is killing me. He's at the top. It's so subtle, too, when he goes to the top. It's very, very subtle the difference, but it makes all the difference in trying to get excellent tosses. Ooh, we just missed. Just to the left. One. Oh, we're gonna catch it? Ah, uh, That would've been nice. Let's set that circle again. There we go. Like, I almost want to throw the ball right now. I think that's what we're gonna try to do, but we don't want to be impatient either, fam. This is a Rayquaza we're talking about here. This thing's a beast. So we want to be patient. In order for the catch guide to work, we need to be at the bottom and attack. That way, we can get those excellent tosses for the best chance of catching it. There we go. There we go. Come on, Rayquaza, drop. Come on. Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. I'm telling you, this guide, it works. Two. There we go, fam. We got it. Our first ever Rayquaza Pokedex entry. The guide worked so well. I can't stress it enough. Yes, we got him. Rayquaza. Is it any good? Oh, Dragon Tail and Outrage. Nice. Oh, the best of them. HP and attack and defense. Strong and impressive. So this could be 93%, and that's not bad. That's personally my cutoff line is 93%. So let's go. All right, guys. Make sure you smash that like button for breakaways of hype. Let me know if you got yours in the comments down below. I'm signing off. I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.